Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, welcome back. In our last video, we set up this nano jellyfish aquarium. Everything is doing fantastic and today I wanted to bring you back, show you how to maintain it and do a live feeding of these jellyfish. So, to start off, what we need to do is go ahead and, well, get some live food. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hatching some brine shrimp. And this right here is an Artemia hatchery. And this particular hatchery, I did a lot of research and this is by far the most simple. There is no required aeration. There is no required tumbling. There is nothing. It is literally filling this thing up with some salt water, adding your eggs right into it. And right here is about the time I realized. It's not how you do it. So let's do this over again. Basically, I filled this up with salt water and you've got to place this plastic ring into the middle of this container. There are little notches on the bottom for it to fit perfectly within these rings and this prevents the eggshells from moving from the outer side into the middle. This little bucket goes right into the middle of our hatchery and this is what's going to filter our baby brine shrimp out of the water once they hatch. Now this hatchery comes with a scoop and you're going to use two scoops of brine shrimp eggs in this hatchery. Now this is going to produce quite a few baby brine shrimp and I'm going to use those to feed multiple things not just these jellyfish. Now that we have our eggs in this hatchery we're just going to simply cover it with the provided cover and we're going to leave it in a warm area that has light because these eggs are going to hatch and the brine shrimp are going to be drawn to the light in the middle. So we'll check out on this here in just a little bit but let's get into maintaining this tank for just a minute now maintaining a jellyfish tank is just like maintaining any other aquarium what we're gonna start with is I'm gonna use this sponge which this came with this tank it actually is adjustable which makes it nice because you can adjust it to a certain length lock it in place so I'm gonna go into this tank and I'm just gonna use this sponge to clean this glass off and we don't want to cause too much disturbance in here as far as the flow of the water and such I just want to come in we want to clean all of the tank itself up all the stuff off the bottom and what I'm going to use to drain this tank is actually this really cool product that my friends over at Hyger sent me and what this is basically like a gravel vac gun it has a hose on the end of it that I'm going to drop into a five gallon bucket and then this gun allows me to come in here and start using the trigger motion and it will actually suck all of the stuff up off the bottom for me you want to make sure that you don't suck up your jellyfish we have our water removed now we just need to come back in and add some fresh new salt water. Now the salt water is sitting in the same room as this tank, so this water is completely the same temperature. I also bought this salt water, so there's no need to test it. Alright, so now that we have this tank filled back up, all I'm doing is just coming back and cleaning off the glass or the acrylic with a paper towel, just get it nice and dry. One of the things about keeping jellyfish I've learned as a part of my research, it's very important to monitor for bubbles inside of the aquarium after you fill it back up. I filled up in the back to allow the sponge filter to remove as many bubbles as possible. And the reason is, is if you get bubbles up inside of the body of the jellyfish, those bubbles will actually cause their flesh to deteriorate there and will kill their flesh and cause them injury. So we want to make sure that there's no bubbles in here. If there are bubbles, the easiest way to get rid of them is to use like a turkey baster like this and just simply go in, fill this turkey baster up with water from the tank and then come in and then just start getting the bubbles out because this will release the bubbles off the side, off the glass, off the back, all of that and then allow them to actually move to the surface of the water, keeping these jellies nice and sick. Now that we have this thing completely cleaned out, the last thing I wanna do is go ahead and clean the glass off itself. And I'm gonna use some of my favorite product from API, which is this API Safe and Easy Glass Cleaner. Now, even though this API Safe and Easy says that it's for aquarium glass, it is actually for both glass and acrylic aquariums, which this tank right here is actually made of acrylic. So I'm just gonna take this, spray a little bit of this onto a paper towel, and just simply wipe this aquarium down with it. And that is because, well, salt deposits on this plastic. Oh, I see some more bubbles. 
Do you guys see bubbles? You don't see the bubbles. So we're looking at right here, there's some bubbles on the side of this glass. So like I was telling you, you just come in and kind of push those off. It'll get them unstuck from the glass itself and allow those to float to the top and pop. So now that we have this fully cleaned off and the glass or the acrylic is clean, we're gonna go ahead and wipe the top down just to get any salt remnants off the top. Now, there is one filter pack in the back here, which is this Chemapure Nano Blue. That is to be replaced once a month. I've replaced it within the month. Now, what we are gonna wanna do is we're gonna feed these guys tomorrow. All right, well, we're back after 24 hours. And as you can see, there are a ton of baby brine shrimp that have hatched. They've all made their way to the middle towards the light right over this cup that allows us to filter them out. Now, they will continue to hatch for 36 to 48 hours. So you're gonna wanna keep an eye on them and go ahead and harvest them as this cup fills up like this. But this is the first initial hatch. So let's go ahead and get these out of here. I'm gonna store these in like a little plastic container with some salt water we're gonna put these in the refrigerator they'll stay good for some time and I will use these to feed my guppy tanks and things of that nature as well so let's go ahead and harvest these and get these into a container Now jellyfish will actually filter all of this brine shrimp out of the water. You can slowly see it disappearing. And what they do is catch it in their tentacles and then move it towards their mouth using their oral appendages, which are these legs that hang off the bottom of the jellyfish. These glowing shapes in the middle of the bell of these jellies is actually their stomach system. And if you get the lighting perfectly, these brine shrimp actually glow this red color inside of their stomach, which is super cool. Well, as you can tell, they have completely cleared this water out and have all been fed. They look fantastic. A really cool fact about moon jellyfish that was actually recently discovered is they do not regenerate their appendages like other invertebrates. They will actually rearrange their body to stay symmetrical. So as an example, if they have five oral appendages and they lose one, over about a four day period, they will actually rearrange the remaining four legs to make sure they stay symmetrical to allow them to fully survive. This little guy right here was actually Actually delivered to me with no oral appendages he's eating just fine and everything is fine but he will never regrow those back he will always just be a bell floating around all right guys well hopefully you went on to enjoy this video today and hopefully you learned something about these little moon jellyfish i really really am enjoying these things they are great little creatures they're so fun to watch and they're definitely fun to feed if you have not visited freshwaterscrub.com use the code jellyfish you can get 10 percent off your order of merchandise plants whatever you decide to order we have terrarium tools sponge filters all kinds of things we're going to be carrying some other things soon certain types of snails and things like that assassin snails tiger snails and their right, snails, things of that nature. Things that are easy for us to ship in the mail. So make sure you check us out. Freshwaterscrub.com. Use the code jellyfish for 10% off. But with that, thank you so very much for the support, guys. Thank you for the time you spend to watch my videos and all of that. Make sure you go follow us on Instagram as well as on Facebook. Links to both are in the description. Another video will be coming this week and we're going to be talking all about baby vampire crabs. I want to give you guys an update because they're not so baby anymore. They're actually kind of adolescent maybe i don't know make sure you're subscribed and you've got your notification bell on so you do not miss the content coming out on the channel all right guys well with that thanks so very much and we will see you next time